Hey, what's up guys? It's me. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on the laundry that uh, we're building here. Um, so the insides, all done as you guys have seen already. I just got to clean up some of the stuff, but um, we have been waiting for electrical um, to get finished. So today, uh, the contractor was here and did the backfill of the trench. I'm just checking to see what's uh, what's happened since I was last here. I was just I was just here yesterday, but I just popped in real quick. So I got the dryers over here. I'm missing a couple doors because I used them as parts for my other stores. Um, this glass piece here uh, pops out on the Dexters, and so I had some some Dexters that are about seven years old that the glass popped out because people push their hand on it to check the temperature and they push really hard and push the glass through. So I'm checking the, the bathroom is almost done. Uh, then you gotta put the vent in over here. We've got the hand dryer and the um, toilet paper roller that needs to be installed with the ADA stuff is done. And so, um, Anyway, Edison, I've been talking to Edison, who's the electrical company, and they are getting close. Uh, about two weeks away, they had to give notification to the neighbors that they're gonna shut down the power. They're gonna put the, pull the line from that, that pole there. It's gonna come underground to the old transformer, which has a conduit in it. And as you can see, the last time we had the conduit exposed, they were here today. I was just following up on the backfill. They backfilled the trench. We've had this trench open since uh, November of last year. Uh, they've got the new transformer in there. It runs up to the new panel, 800 service. Uh, I think the last time, since last time, we got these put in. Um, panel they gave us kind of a tough time with the existing panel but I told them I said hey that was here before so and it was in the plan so they let us slide on it and uh, actually didn't let us slide they just acknowledged that it was there before so it's all good so we're ready to go uh, two weeks away and then we should have power to the building again I've been at, uh, without power since uh, since June 15th and today is September 22nd so it's been it's been a minute that I haven't had power so we're getting closer thank God um, they also want me to put the address of the, the building on these so I'll get that done but uh, we're getting closer we're getting closer hopefully we'll have this all wrapped up and uh, the next video I'll be uh, filming with, with the machines turning with some clothes in there, these big daddies. So hopefully that'll be the next video is this place with lights. Obviously there's no lights um, and it's gonna take some time to fill up because I'm obviously this was not an existing laundromat. So there's no goodwill here. It's brand new. Although it's in a very good area with lots of apartments around, I think it will get used and will be up and running uh, almost immediately uh, with, with customers. But to get to capacity, it takes, you know, a few years, but um, try to get to break even as quickly as possible. That's the goal. And so um, we're getting close. The first step is to obviously get this thing finished. Uh, we're going on 10, uh, almost a little over two years now since we got permits. So it's taken a lot longer than I anticipated, unfortunately. But, um, you know, once it's done, it's done. Anyway, there's a 60 pounders. So I can't wait to get this place open, man. It's It's been a long time coming. First build, but I learned a lot. Okay, so... Anyway, see you guys. Take care.